All right, guys. Um, today I have a new video on my HTC Droid Incredible, and I'm going to show you guys um, how to do install a ROM on this device. Now, uh, watch my last two videos. They do show you guys how to unlock the bootloader, how to install a custom recovery, how to do an Android backup. So I'm not going to go over those, but I'm going to show you today how to install a Jelly Bean based ROM, which is called a Carbon ROM on the uh, HTC Droid Incredible. Um, so to do that, like I said, the prerequisites are to have unlocked bootloader and have um, a recovery installed, some kind of custom recovery like a twerp recovery. So, or clockwork mount recovery, doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and um, other thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you download the ROM and the Google applications and I'm going to put both of those in the video description down below so you'll know what to do with that. And that's it guys, so let's go ahead and let's um, reboot into HBoot and get into custom recovery. So to reboot into HBoot, um, what I always do is I just pull the back cover off and then pull the battery out. Battery out, battery in. Hold your volume down and power and there we go here is hboot screen okay from this screen all you're gonna have to do it does a little check right here and then it's good so all you gotta do is use push the volume down once and it highlights recovery and then you hit power to boot into recovery now like i was telling you your phone should say unlocked right here seeing purple if it does if it says locked this is not going to work it has to say unlocked and you have to have a custom recovery installed. So when I hit recovery, it's going to boot into my custom recovery. So we hit power. If you do not have a custom recovery installed, um, you're going to try to, once you do this, you're going to boot into stock Android recovery. And you will not be able to do the steps that we need to do to install this ROM from there. So here you go. This is Clockwork My Recovery. Um, let me see if I can try to walk you guys through this. First thing you're going to want to do is learn how to scroll through this and you can scroll with the little ball on the bottom of your phone and if you push the ball in obviously that is your select also uh, first thing also you want to do is do an Android backup um, and you select that and then you hit backup so I've already made a backup um, I'm not gonna mess with that also your back is the same back button you use on your phone um, so I'm not gonna do a backup so the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to do all of our wiping we need to do to install this ROM. So first thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset. Scroll down to yes, delete all user data, and let it run. Deleting all user data deletes all your applications, all your passwords, everything off your phone. So it kind of returns it to, to stock. Um, and you just need to do that so you have a clean slate to work with. Here we go. So next you're going to go down to um, wipe cache partition. Select it and then hit yes, wipe and it's going to wipe that out and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go into advanced mode and we're going to wipe out um, our Delvic cache so go down to advanced select it second option is wipe Delvic select it scroll to yes and select it it's very easy to do and then you just hit the back button okay so before I probably mess something up I'm gonna go put my battery cover back on because I don't want this battery falling out on me while I'm doing all these steps also it's very important you have good battery life on your device 80% or more is highly recommended um, because if it shuts down while you're flashing something that's gonna be a bad situation um, now because you have an unlocked bootloader and you have uh, recovery installed it's not as bad because you can always get back into recovery but if the phone won't charge or something because it doesn't have a ROM on it it's just not a good thing so, um, so we did our ba our wipes. We already have our backup. So then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna say install zip from SD card and select it. And then we're gonna pick choose zip. Where is it? Oh, the top one. Choose zip from SD card. You can also choose zip from the internal SD card, but I have mine on my external, and it's under my download folder. And these are the two files you guys are gonna need. You're going to need the top one, which is, if I can highlight it, Carbon Jelly Bean Unofficial. And then the next one, which is uh, the Google Applications 
um, and it says tiny because it's specially made small so that it'll fit on this older phone. So we're going to go to the ROM first and you're just going to select it and you're going to go down to yes install carbon jelly bean and select and let this run through. Um, install probably going to take, it's a pretty small file, I'm thinking about up to five minutes tops. So I'm going to let it run and then I'm going to show you how to install the Google applications. We'll reboot and check this thing out. Okay, so the ROM installed. So we're going to say choose it from SD card again. Go back to downloads. Go to Google uh, Google applications right here. JB42, all those good stuff. Tiny. Um, and we're going to select that one to flash. Say go down to yes, install it, make sure it's highlighted there, make sure it says the same thing, yes, install. And let those install. Um, this should probably be even faster than the ROM, considering it is a pretty small file. As soon as it is done, we'll reboot. I'm going to go ahead, oh, there you go, it's already done. So we're actually going to hit back. And then it says reboot system now, and we'll select it. And it's going to boot up. So first thing I want to show you guys is just show you guys the boot animation on it. I'm sure it's probably different. I'm hoping it is. I always like seeing what uh, developers put in them. Um, and then I'm going to go through some setup stuff and I'll show you guys the ROM once it's done fully, you know, booting up and get it get it flowing. Get it functioning. I get through all the setup stuff. It's annoying. Um, so I just want to say a big thanks to the Carbon team um, for putting uh, this ROM together for us. And... I actually got this, I think this is actually ported to this device from a guy I met on off of YouTube. So obviously he ported it and got it functioning for us on this device, so big thanks to him also. So there you go, there's your animation, or not animation, more like logo. Uh, I guess it is animating, there's a little bit of uh, fluctuation to the lettering and stuff. So we'll let this boot up. First boot up takes can take up to 10 minutes. Um, if it takes longer than 10 minutes. Uh, on the first boot up of seeing this screen and if this phone will not boot then go ahead and go back into recovery the same way and restore your Android backup obviously something went wrong you got a corrupted file and download um, something like that happened so I'll set this boot I'll go through setup and I'll show you the ROM alright guys here you go this is the carbon ROM all booted up let me just see something yeah I think that's cool we do have carbon wallpapers in here we got we got to change the wallpaper. I mean, we're running car, carbon ROM, right? Let's uh, let's change it up here. Hmm, interesting. I like, I like, ooh, that looks pretty cool. Let's go with that. Set as wallpaper. All right, now it's gonna look more like carbon ROM. <clears throat> there we go. That's much a little better. Alright, so here we go. We got Carbon ROM right here. Let me go ahead and just show it to you. Um, first of all, you do see you do have your Jelly Bean pull down toggles, which is way cool. Definitely digging it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what you got down here about phone. And as you can see, we are on the Droid Incredible and we are on Android version 4.2.2 .2 Jelly Bean. Newest version right now of what is out for this device, or for Android in general actually. Um, and then I'll just show you this just because it's fun. There you go. There's your bean or your jelly. And there are all your little beaners. So it's a little Easter egg on jelly bean. Um, go back into the pull down. And then obviously this is your notification. Where are they at here? I thought this should pull. There it goes. That would be your notifications. And here is your toggles. So back into settings. So you saw what we're running on this thing. You do obviously have a uh, root permission on it with super user right there. Here's some permission stuff and uh, development options for turning on USB debugging and good stuff like that. And standard, standard, okay, and then right here, carbon. This is where you have all your fun little tweaks along with dark carbon, which I actually like running it like that. Just gives your whole phone a little darker interface looking. You do have themes for Theme Chooser you can download from Google Play and theme your device really easily with that. You do have your performance and this has to do with setting your processor speed, clock speeds and goodies like that, governors, blah blah blah. If you've ever seen any like CM or any kind of ROM like that it has that in there. Um, 
And then here is where your customization gets like wacky crazy and what gets really fun with carbon. You have pie controls, power options, menu, blah, 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 and it, just all kinds of goodies when it comes to customization on your device. This is what makes custom ROMs fun in my opinion, is really being able to customize how you want your stuff to look. Um, status, uh, status bar stuff, ribbons, status bar toggles, I mean everything is customizable in here. So this is the coolest part I think about any of the custom ROMs that are out nowadays. Um, other settings look pretty much standard. Let's go ahead and see what applications this thing does come with. That is it. Not even a full page here, guys. Um, and the reason they do this is because uh, because the partitions on this phone are so small that you can't get all your, your apps in there um, if you have a whole ton of them that come with the device or come with the ROM. It just won't fit in the partition that you're trying to install them in. So you got to break it down and pick the important stuff and then download whatever else you want off of the Play Store. So like you don't even have Gmail on here. Um, so you'd have to download that from the Play Store. So just things like that uh, so you guys understand why there's so few apps and so few Google applications, Chrome and things like that, they're just not here. So if you want them, go to Play Store, download them that way, um, and you can get all that kind of stuff. You do have some uh, widgets and stuff. Actually, I like this widget right here. Sweet. So anyway, there you go. We can set all this thing up. Should be fully functional on here. Um, let me show you the one thing. I think that is a downside. Oh, it actually does have it. Does it work? Let's see. Uh, sure. It does. Cool. I thought the camera might not function, but it looks like it does. So, I don't really see any downsides to this. This is sweet. So now you guys can get Jelly Bean, uh, Carbon ROM on your Droid Incredible. You're running the newest and the greatest, man. There it is. So hope you guys like this little install review. Uh, I'm going to show you guys more videos. Obviously this does have root permission, but Super User is built into Jelly Bean at this stage. So you're not going to have an app like in here, Super Sewer Super User, but it is built in. You do have permission for it. Um, it's built into the settings like I think I showed you earlier. Down here, Super User. So it's built into right here. But there it is. Hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, I'll be doing more videos on this device as time goes on here and keeping you guys up to speed on it uh, now that I have one of these. So that's it. That is the Droid Incredible running Jelly Bean Carbon ROM, how to install, and a little review. Thanks for watching.